Power Talk brought to you by ABB. Power and productivity for a better world. Generating power from hot rocks at the surface of Kenya's Great Rift Valley. This is a 180 megawatt plant at the Olkaria Geothermal Facility, an hour and a half drive from Nairobi. The steam is hot enough to turn electricity generating turbines. The plan here is to generate 1,200 megawatts of electricity by the year 2018. This is Africa's largest geothermal power station and is operated by the Kenya Energy Generating Company. It has more than 30 wells tapping into the heat of the Earth's surface. Kenya is at the forefront of the green energy revolution uh, through exploitation of geothermal uh, resources. And um, we see ourselves having a very great potential for a low carbon future, uh, especially in energy generation. Our geoscientists have done studies which show that the country can generate up to 7,000 megawatts from geothermal sources alone. Geothermal technology does not come cheaply. The Orcaria project needed money from the World Bank and United Nations. At this time, green power is crying out for investment. Attacking volcanic heat into a generating electricity. This is very clean, cleaner and greener uh, sources and renewable energy. I'm very impressed by this very creative, innovative technology. And this is uh, this can provide us a good way we can achieve sustainable development together with the wind, solar, and biomass energy. And United Nations will provide all technical assistance. And I'd like to thank you for many donor countries. I was told that a large part of investment has been done Chinese government. And it is quite a good example to as a part of South-South cooperation. But generating power from renewable sources is an expensive business and private companies are struggling to raise capital. One of the biggest problems that uh, the IPPs or potential investors are coming across is requirement for some kind of guarantee or security from the government. Because this is a long-term thing. So the financiers are asking the Kenya government to give them some kind of uh, undertaking that should Kenya Pan Lighting, which is the main buyer of energy, fail to buy, they'll take the responsibility of ensuring that the repayments are still made by these companies. And also, should there be a problem, a political problem in the country, they'd like some kind of assurance that they will still continue to get their repayment. Kenya is leading Africa in punishing darkness by harnessing nature. Geothermal is working in a number of countries, uh, in, particularly in the US. There's a lot of geothermal. But uh, in Kenya, we have a huge potential. And given the direction the fossil fuel pricing and the crude prices are going, I think that is the direction. And the future of geothermal in Kenya, I think, looks very bright. Uh, the estimated potential is close to about 8,000 megawatts. And uh, we, right now, we haven't really touched on uh, even 10% of that. Going forward, uh, we are intent on making sure that Kenya is a green energy country, uh, the first green energy country through geothermal. We say that uh, actually the, the future uh, of geothermal is uh, very bright green uh, because that's really what we look at and we are hoping that geothermal is going to be the base road supply of energy in this country. Estimates says Kenya can generate between 3,000 and 4,000 megawatts with geothermal power. That's the output of a large geothermal power station. Geologists are hunting for new sites along the Rift Valley a quest that could take them to Eritrea, Ethiopia, Uganda, and as far as Tanzania. From the ground up, the future of geothermal looks bright.